The following message is a production of Tony Broom Ministries. I'm glad today to tell you that Jesus loves you. God is sufficient for everything that we need. I'm glad He's an on-time God. I'm glad He's a real God. I'm glad that He is an all-sufficient God. And that's what I want to talk to you about for a few minutes today. An all-sufficient God. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 8 and 9. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always, having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. A lot of all in there. Always having all sufficiency for all things may abound to every good work. As it is written, He hath dispersed abroad. He hath given to the poor. His righteousness remaineth forever. That tells me that God knows everything that we're doing. And that's not only true in the bad things that we do, that God sees everything that you do and you're not going to get by but it also is good because the good things that we do. God knows every prayer that you pray. He knows every time that you reach out to help someone. He knows every time that you lift somebody up. He knows every good work that you've ever done. And that's what God is all about. Even when you get to the place where you're disabled, when you get to the place where you have things going on in your life, things are going on and you just can't help it, God still sees and He still understands. He still knows all about it, and He has not forgotten us. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. God is an all-sufficient God. It's not just because when we're young and we're working and we can do all these things and God takes care of us. God takes care of us all of our life. You can look back on your life and you can bear me witness that God has cared for you. God has watched out for you when you didn't even have money to buy Pepsi-Cola or a Coca-Cola, when you didn't have money to put kerosene in the tank, when you didn't have money to make ends meet, God always came through. And God is an all-sufficient God. He has grace enough. Praise God for His amazing grace. His grace, we don't deserve it, we don't earn it, but God gives us His amazing grace. And this verse talks about this scripture talks about an all-sufficient God, all grace abounding toward us, that we always having all sufficiency, that means everything that we need, in all things that we may abound to every good work. And it talks about it as it's written, He hath dispersed abroad. This is quoting from the Old Testament. It talks about the person that's interested in doing good and lifting others up. He hath dispersed abroad. He hath given to the poor. His righteousness remains forever. God will not forget the good things that you've done. And He's an all-sufficient God. In chapter 3, verse 5, Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. We are not sufficient in ourselves. We can't save ourselves. We can't take care of ourselves. You get to the point in life when you can't even take care of yourself physically. You have to have other people to help you to do that. And we need people to do that. But God is a sufficient God. He will send people to help us. He will send those to take care of us. God will send angels around us if that's what we need. He will send money to us if that's what we need. He will send a friend to us if that's what we need. He will send a good word of encouragement to us if that's what we need. God is an all-sufficient God. Sufficiency means enough. It means adequate provision or supply. My God is a God of enough. He's a God of more than enough. He is an all-sufficient God. All-sufficient grace. Grace to save me. Grace to sanctify me. Grace to fill me with the Spirit. Grace to heal me. Grace to bless me. Grace to help me. Grace to wake me up this morning and start me on my way. Grace to help me in everything that I need. All sufficient grace and all sufficient good. He gives us good. He is a good God. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. All sufficient good. He is a blessing God. A God who loves to bless. A God who loves to do good. A God who wants to do us good. He would rather do us good than to have to judge us for sin. He'll judge 
the world for sin, and He will judge sin. They will not get by with it. But He would rather do them good. He wants to save them. He wants to gather them into His arms. He wants to write their name in the Lamb's book of life. He's got a place in heaven for them. All they got to do is just turn around and get right with God. Yeah. Change their way of living. Repent and turn and come to the Lord and allow Him to save them. All sufficient good and an all sufficient God. He is a God that's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. He is an all sufficient God. He is sufficient for you when you get down. He's sufficient for you when you get sick. He's sufficient for you in everything that you need. God is an all-sufficient God in everything that we need. When we're young and we're skipping about and don't think we need anybody, God is sufficient. When we get a little older and our health starts failing, yeah. and when we get our eyesight starts failing, yeah. and our knees starts failing, and yeah. everything about us starts failing, the only thing that's not failing is bills keep coming in. That seems like to be the only thing that's not failing. Anything else seems to be failing. Well, when you start failing and things start falling apart, God is still a sufficient God. He's still able to do what we need done. Yeah. He's still able to take care of us. Yeah. And God is an all-sufficient God. Everything and anything that you need today, God is sufficient to meet that need. Father, I thank you for this word. I thank you, Lord, that you are an all-sufficient God. I thank you that you have this whole world in your hands. Yeah. I thank you, Lord, that you have the little bitty baby in your hands. You have the wind and the rain yeah. in your hands. You've got the man out there in the workplace in your hands. Lord, you've got the man in Washington in your hands. Yeah. Right. You've got the man in L.A. and New York in your hands. Yeah. You've got the man in London and Moscow in your hands. You've got the little boy over there in the corner of Africa in your hands. You've got the little girl in India. She's all in your hands. You've got everything all in your hands. Yeah. You're in control, Lord. And I pray that you'd help us to look to you, help us to humble ourselves before you, and help many people to come and be saved today because you're an all-sufficient God. In Jesus' name, amen. The preceding message has been a production of Tony Broom Ministries. 